Hey guys, this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and what I want you to do is start to think about what is it that you don't accept from women? What is it that you don't accept from others? What is it that you just don't accept that people do? And start to formulate boundaries so that you can be the strongest version of who you are. So, each person that I know who is strong, each person that I know who is successful, they have boundaries so that so they can stay them their most successful self. So, this is what this video is about. It's about setting boundaries. And setting boundaries is one of the things that you're going to be able to do to set yourself up to be the best version of who you are and to and to push out all the people uh, who shouldn't be there, whoever it may be, world and women. So, the first thing I want you to do is look at what is it that I do not accept from women? What behaviors about women uh, do I not accept? What type of energies that women give off that I don't accept? What is it? Because the number one way to find out what you don't accept from women is to, is to see how you feel when girls do certain things. Now, we're not talking about when a girl's testing you, and that's not what we're talking about. If you're like, I don't want to deal with girls who test me, that's the natural part of the feminine. I'm talking about what things about women do you not completely do not accept. So things that I don't accept from women is women who are negative, I don't accept it. Women who are racist, I don't care if they're black or white or whatever, or whatever race, I don't accept that. I don't accept women who are not caring. If they're not caring women, I don't accept them. I don't. I don't accept that behavior of being someone that's inconsiderate of others. I don't accept that. I don't accept women who, uh, when I'm talking to them, they don't give me their full attention. If, if I'm talking to a girl and she's not giving me her full attention, I'll see if she's trying to test me with what she's doing or is that the way she's just doing it. Like, if she's just not, if she's all over the place, that's something I don't like because I love eye contact. So, when I'm talking to a girl, something I don't accept is a girl talking to me and diverting her attention to texting. These are things I just don't accept from women. These are behaviors that if I do see it, I see, okay, does this girl, is this girl doing this because she's testing me or is she doing this because that's just what she's doing? And there's certain behaviors that women get off, give off that you will uh, find distasteful and that other men will find tasteful, really. Because there's some men who don't care if a girl texts in front of them. They don't care if a girl gives them full attention the whole time. They don't care if a girl is inconsiderate. They just don't. Or they just like, okay, she, she's just that way, but as long as I get the fuck, that's what, that's what matters. And I'm never coming from that frame. If you're ever coming from the frame that as long as I get the fuck, or as long as I stay around long enough to get sex, then you're gonna be setting yourself up for failure. You really are, within. Yeah, you might fuck the girl, but what have you done in that process to empower you or her? So, set boundaries. And the boundaries that you want to you want to set are the boundaries that are going to allow you to stay as your most successful self. It's going to allow you to build certain things around you so that you can go up and up and up in life. Because there's nothing like a person being negative around you and stopping you from getting to where you need to go. Uh, guys, they're in relationships, and, and when they're in relationships, a lot of things, a lot of times, they start to get into self-development. And then when they get into self-development, they believe that they can stay with the same girl that they have who doesn't care about growing. And that girl who doesn't care about growing, she's not going to be an aid to you in your life. She's going to be somebody that's going to stop you. She's going to be somebody that's going to hinder your success. So, what is it that you really can do? Start to look at what is it that I can do to push people out. For one of the things you can do right away is to, is to stop contact with them. Just completely stop contact with them. Whether it be a girl you see right away and you're talking to her, just walk away really or just say that's the behavior that I find distasteful. And let's say that she's being rude to somebody and you don't like girls who are being rude to people because I don't. I don't like girls who are rude. They, I mean to others. That's a, it shows that they don't care. And when a girl is really showing a non-caring attitude and she's really just being, I can do whatever I want, that type of attitude, that's the attitude that I'm going to shut out. I'm gonna shut it out completely because I know that if I was to have her around, she wouldn't do anything for me but be a good lay. That's all she'll be, if she is, because of natural polarity. But besides that, she has no value to me in the sense of coming into my life. So, build your life in a way that it's so that you set boundaries to push people out who shouldn't be there. Push them out. 
verbalize it if you have to. If it really comes down to it, where the person is that toxic, where the person is that um, non-just uh, giving of value to your life, push them out. Verbalize it. Uh, one of the things that I do is I verbalize something to a girl if she does something and I don't like it. So I was with the girl last night and she kept playing this game. And I don't like girls who play games. So she kept playing this game that she's trying to come on to me and then push away. Come on to me and then push away. Come on to me and then push away. And I know a lot of times in that situation, I would just sit there, go cold, and allow her to just come on to me. Because that's one thing you can do if a girl's doing that. You can just completely go cold. And what, what that effect will do is that she'll believe that you lost interest and she'll start to come on to you. And that uh, in itself is a strong thing you can do. But of course, that's still something used where you're like, all right, I'm, I can use this because so I, I know this will work on this girl so I can have sex with her. And yeah, use it because that's what she responds to. Because you now you know what she responds to, do know that you're gonna have to keep giving up that type of behavior throughout your uh, how long you guys are together. So what I did to her is that I just stopped. I stopped there and I said, all right, the behavior that you're giving me right now is something I don't like. You keep trying to come on to me and then you push him back. You come on to me and then you push him back. That's not something I respect. And then in that moment, boom, she, she stopped doing that. She couldn't do it anymore, really. Cause I started to break her down in the sense of these behaviors that you're doing with me, they are not working with me. They are not things that I respect. She said, so what are you trying to say, that you don't respect me right now? I said, no, if you don't do what you want to do right now and you keep allowing yourself to stop when I know you want me, no, I don't respect you and I won't see you again. That type of clarity of me giving her that was a boundary that I was setting. I was setting the boundary so that she knows that that's not something that I find attractive. And when a girl feels that, she can feel you pulling away. And that pulling away will naturally draw her towards you sometime um, in itself because she can see that you're willing to walk away. The, the man that's willing to walk away because of his boundaries, who's willing to walk away because a girl's behavior is not what he likes, that's gonna be the girl that girls, the girl have to respect. She doesn't have any choice. She either can keep doing what she's doing and just be uh, a bitch or whatever she's gonna be, or she could just be, she, could, she can give in, understand, look at her behavior, and then shift it in the sense of, I know that this is not something that I truly want to do right now. I'm just doing it because this is the way I feel. And it'll change a girl, really, in the moment. So you want to see uh, what things you accept and what you don't accept. And that's the way you're going to be able to build strong boundaries with women and they're going to be able to respect you. So in building the boundaries that you need to, make sure that it's always built around, okay, how can I put a boundary up so that it can allow me to bring the best people into my life, the best women into my life, because of this video, the best women into my life uh, so I can have the best uh, interactions and best uh, successes uh, with women that I have throughout my evolution. So until next time, this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles. Subscribe below and I see you in the next video.